Hey guys, you're in with Minecraft Maniac 199. And earlier today, I was trying to make a super flat world to make another video, but I realized that I should make an updated video of my super flat customization world because, well, everything's a little bit different now in 1.8.1. So let's just get right into it. Make a new world, call it Creative. I can't type and talk at the same time. I'm not good at that. Um, and let's just show you what's different. So right off the bat, you'll see that there's a lot of differences. It, I had, it had me really confused at the beginning, but then I did some searching around on the internets and found how to do it. So I will tell you guys how to do it, and hopefully you'll find it very useful, this video. So let's just... Actually, no. Let's do this and show you what's different. Um, you can see right here this 3 and the semicolon. You're going to need that in any string of code you write if you want to make your super flat world. Um, this is the version number, I believe. I'm not sure what it does, but it's in all these ones, so I know it's important. You can't, you literally can't make it without it, or else it'll just delete all your code and you'll have to start over and add this little bugger in. It has to go at the beginning, too. So, here, you know what? I'll just show you what you do. So you go three semicolon and then it goes from bottom up like always so I usually start out with a layer of bedrock so how you do that is you type in minecraft add a colon and then type bedrock. Like I said I can't type very well when I'm talking. Okay so there's our bottommost layer. This will be at layer one. A layer of bedrock of minecraft colon bedrock. So to separate the block layers, you want to put commas. And now let's say I want to add more than one layer. So I want to add, like, may, say, five layers. What you do is you type in however many layers you want. I want five. And then you, make an, you type an asterisk after that. And then you just type in the block you want. So Minecraft. You always want to add Minecraft and a colon before you type the block name. That's how it works now. If you want to use words, I like using words because it's easier to know what they are than just looking at the numbers and having to look up the numbers and yeah. So let's say I want five wet sponges. So I would I have uh, ID list on my other screen. So wet sponge is sponge colon one, and then separate that. I want um. Hmm. Let me look what I want. You know what? I want some leaves. Let's just... Mm, spruce leaves. I like spruce leaves. So let's do 10 spruce leaves. 10x Minecraft leaves 1. That's the spruce leaves ID. And let's throw in a cobweb because why not? And finally, a layer of grass. Now, how you finish this code off is you do semicolon, biome number, semicolon. That's how you finish it. And this biome number is um, the basically the color your grass is going to be, pretty much. Three is extreme hills. I like that color. So let's go ahead and use preset. As you can see, we started off with one layer of bedrock at the bottom, five wet sponges, ten spruce leaves, cobweb, and a grass block. So now that we're done, we can create the new world. And check it out. Alright, here we are. And see, it's all extreme hillsy colored. And there's slimes that I don't want in my video. There we go. So we can dig down. We're stuck in a cobweb. There you can see it. Uh, got our leaves. Sorry, it's a little laggy every time I dig a block. Uh, I guess it was just the leaves. We got five layers of that and bedrock. So there's our bedrock. Five sponges. Ten leaves that are decaying, apparently. And cobweb. And grass block. So, yeah, there you have it. I will send you guys a link to the biome ID 
list and the new block word list. I will put that in the description for you guys. So yeah, that's about it. Sorry for this not being in full screen again. Um, and yeah, see you guys next time.